good afternoon welcome back to another vlog it is currently saturday afternoon i just got back from the gym and i was about to hop in the shower hence why my hair looks like this it's pretty clean i just washed it a couple days ago so i'm just gonna do a body shower and avoid getting the hair wet but i thought i would start another weekend in my life vlog i worked pretty late last night so the first half of my day i just wanted to sleep in and chill and kind of lay around and do nothing but then i finally pulled myself together went and worked out and now we're gonna get ready because i am going to dinner with the girls from the salon that i work at and then we're gonna go out afterwards and it should be a fun night i have some new makeup too that i am really excited to wear and share with you guys i am showered I'm not gonna lie it took me a minute to figure out my outfit now i have to decide though what jewelry i want to wear because the dress that i'm wearing is like really plain and basic necklace no necklace i'm gonna go with this necklace but now which earrings do i do the thick hoops or the thinner bigger hoop i think i might be leaning towards these we'll see i think i should just wait until my hair and makeup is done and then see which ones I like better but either way both of these earrings and this necklace that I'm wearing and all of the other earrings that I have in that I keep in all the time are from Ana Luisa and they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog you guys know if you're a regular viewer of mine I'm always wearing the same jewelry pieces I just need to have high quality pieces that I can just leave on all the time and not have to worry that they're gonna tarnish or break or turn my skin green and that's why I love Ana Luisa's jewelry not only is it such high quality but you can get it at a really affordable price point their jewelry pieces start at $39 and everything is strength and humidity tested and I can tell you from personal experience I live in the southeast it's really humid where I live and I've been wearing their jewelry for years I wear it in the shower to the beach in the pool all the time year round I have some pieces that I've had for a couple years now and they still look just as shiny and new and beautiful as they did when I first got them they're currently running a Mother's Day sale and I thought that talking about their sale was really appropriate for today's video since I am going out to dinner with all of my female co-workers because with Mother's Day coming up it always just makes me think about all of the women in my life whether they are mothers to actual human children or not i feel so lucky that i work in an environment now where i'm surrounded by such inspiring women that i really genuinely enjoy working with and being around and i feel inspired by them all the time and i love that we all just support each other and there's never any cattiness there's never competition especially working in the beauty field there can be a lot of drama out of all the jobs that i've had in my life this is one of the few where i actually hang out with my coworkers outside of work and like consider them friends and i look forward to that so if you guys want to take advantage of the mother's day sale whether you want to get a piece of jewelry as a gift to give to another woman in your life that inspires you or you just want to get a little something for yourself that's okay too we need to treat ourselves and celebrate ourselves i will have a link and discount code in the description thank you so much anna luisa for continuing to work with me they've been a longtime sponsor of mine and a great supporter of my channel so i really genuinely love their stuff and i love them as a company you already know if you've been watching me you already know let's get ready and then i'll decide on like the final jewelry once everything else is done i'm gonna put a little bit of spf first because the sun is still out and it is quite strong today this is the super goop daily dose hydroceramide boost plus spf it's like an oil basically but it doesn't make your face feel or look greasy it really just like absorbs into the skin and it adds a nice glow i like wearing that even just like on no makeup days by itself but under makeup it's really nice too and then the next thing is 
a new product, the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. I had swatched this in the store and I was like, oh my God, not only does it feel amazing on my skin, but it adds such a beautiful glow. And it's like a nice primer for foundation because everything just feels like so soft. The consistency of it feels kind of like a gel and a moisturizer in one. So like the foundation just glides over it so nicely. For foundation, I am gonna do the Essence Pretty Natural. This stuff, I've been using it for years and it is just like my tried and true. It's so good. It's like $6 at Ulta, but it's just amazing. Like the finish is beautiful and it is completely transfer proof and it's so good in the humidity. It's pretty hot out right now. It's super humid outside today. And we're gonna go out after dinner and probably be dancing. So I know I'm gonna be hot and probably sweating. So whenever it's a day like that and I need something that's gonna be transfer proof and isn't gonna budge and is gonna like hold up, that's what I will use every time. And it's crazy how inexpensive it is. So yeah, the dinner that we're doing tonight um, we are going out to a sushi restaurant downtown and I'm so excited. If you guys live in Wilmington or you're just familiar with the area, um, we're going to Yosaki. It's a fun place and it's nice because it's right downtown, like right by all of the other popular bars. It's just so fun when we all get together. I feel like we have a good dynamic. We all get along really well. I feel like it's really rare, especially with such a big group, you know? Like, what are the chances? Because all together, there's like almost 20 employees at the salon, including the owner. So, I mean, that's a lot of women. So to get that many people together and like for all of us to genuinely like each other, it's amazing. But it's really fun when we all get together because you know, when we're at work, we're professional because we're at work, but it's just so funny to like see everybody outside of that environment, especially when we all get some drinks in us. By the way, I applied the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer under my eyes and just kind of like highlighted a little bit. And then I used the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy to set that lightly and then i did a little bit of the physician's formula butter bronzer now i am using another new well it's not a new product but like new to me the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light wand it's a really beautiful glowy liquid blush it's not like the rare beauty liquid blush though like you can be a little more heavy-handed with this. The shade is Pink Gasm. I'm gonna top it off a little bit because I feel like that shade, especially now I like, I've been out in the sun so I got pretty tan recently. So it's not as pink as I would like it to be. It's perfect on like a light or no makeup kind of day, but with a full face, I just want to add a little more blush. So this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush. And that will kind of set it a little bit too. And then I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Highlight Powder. This is another product that I just purchased recently. It's so beautiful. I've only worn it once so far. And it is just so gorgeous. I love it. It's like the perfect glow without being like too glittery. Um, this is in the shade Exhilarate. And then I'm going to set my face with the Benefit Professional Super Set. I'm telling you, you will see at the end of the night, I'll show you. This makeup is not gonna budge. It is not going anywhere. But like, it's still really glowy, which I like. I feel like usually you would think if you're trying to do like humidity proof makeup that's gonna like really stay and last all night through sweating and all that, you would do more matte. But I prefer dewy, glowy, so. This is like the perfect 
combination. But yeah, it's so funny. A couple weeks after I first started at the salon, they were actually doing their first annual retreat. So she rented out this beach house. I barely knew any of these people and now I was gonna spend a long weekend in a house with all of them doing all of these different activities and stuff that she had planned and I really didn't know how it was gonna go. You guys know that I just keep it real. Like I don't hold back, but you don't even see how I am when I'm with my friends and when I'm like having a good time. I'm also gonna put some of this on my lids. Ooh, that's so pretty. Just opens up the eyes. Oh, beautiful. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm very laid back and easy going and depending on my mood, I can come off as just kind of like chill and kind of quiet depending too on like the group that I'm with. But most of the time, like when I'm comfortable, I can be really outgoing. But you know, when you're around a group of people that you don't really know in a new environment, and it, especially when it's people that you work with and the person that employs you, can I like fully let go and be myself and let my full personality out? Or should I like hold back a little bit because I don't know how they're gonna take it. Like I don't wanna scare anybody or make them think that I'm like weird. But it was such a good trip because I really just felt comfortable to just let my personality run free and just be myself and we got to know each other very well, very quickly. I don't know what we're gonna do this year for the salon retreat, but it'll be even more fun this year because I know all of them really well. It's not gonna be like the first time hanging out with them. So I did some brow gel. I applied the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. This is the mascara that it's like fibers so it doesn't give you raccoon eyes and it doesn't smudge and stuff it literally like flakes off and it's really easy to take off but i decided that i am gonna give the lash extensions a little bit of a break because it's just a pain keeping up with them i was going for fills every three weeks but the three weeks was just going by so fast and it's just annoying like having to take the time each week to just lay there and it's not like when you're getting a pedicure or something where you can like still be productive and like answer emails or something it's like i'm literally laying there with my eyes shut and i have to be completely still i do love having them i feel like they make life really easy and they look really pretty but i don't know i always go through phases with them so i'm just gonna let them naturally shed and i've just been using lash serum my lashes are pretty good like they're not damaged or anything and they're pretty long i don't even really have like that many extensions left most of this is my natural lashes i think i might just do like lift and tints um, once all the extensions fall off and just use lash serum so that they can grow and be like as long as possible but yeah the thrive mascara is really good I always have a hard time with mascaras especially in the humidity and when you're gonna be sweating a lot and stuff because you get the freaking raccoon eyes and then I lined my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner now I'm gonna fill them in with Mac bear bling lipstick just in the center and i'm going to top it off with this lip gloss which look at this my dog got a hold of it he like never chews things up but for whatever reason one night when he was home alone he got his hands on this and decided to chew on it so now the packaging is like messed up but the product is still fine he didn't get it open or anything but this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Plumping Lip Gloss. It doesn't really add any color, but it just makes the lips nice and glossy and juicy. I was not paying attention to the time. I'm just over here blabbing, taking forever to get ready, and I need to leave soon. So let's go to the bathroom and figure out this hair. <laughs> it's like so frizzy. So I'm just gonna turn on my, of course this is, is dying. My Dyson Corral flat iron, waiting for that to heat up. I'm just gonna smooth over the spots that are like super frizzy and then touch up some of these waves. What's nice about this flat iron is 
doesn't completely fry the crap out of your hair. So I don't really feel so guilty having to reapply heat. The only thing that's annoying about it is you have to remember to charge it because it is cordless. Like right now, it keeps dying. Even though it's plugged in, it just keeps cutting off on me because the battery is so low. It's stupid. Like you should be able, if it's plugged in, you should just be able to continue using it. Putting some Sebastian dark oil on the ends. Just smooth it down a little more. It also makes it smell really, really good. And whatever's left, I'm just gonna kind of tap over and especially rub it like underneath here in the back because under there always gets so frizzy and so dry. Not perfect, but definitely better. I'm sure it'll be a crazy frizzy mess by the time I get home, but that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna throw a little bit more jewelry on. I think I'm just gonna go with these earrings. Cute perfume. Dossier Ambery Saffron. It's a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. Let me show you my outfit for the evening. Um, so this dress is super old, actually. It's from H&M. My Steve Madden shoes. I was going to wear, like, cute heels but i don't know like how dressed up everybody else is getting and i don't want to be like overdressed and plus i just want to be comfortable especially since we're going out after there's nothing worse than being stuck with uncomfortable shoes all night i'm all ready to go i'm gonna take benny out really quick and then i'm gonna head out i'll try to get a good amount of clips while i'm out and i will show you the makeup when i get home and we'll see how it wears throughout the night. But here is the only reason why I'm vlogging is to show you how my makeup looks. I know this lighting sucks, but considering, as you can tell from my hair, I got caught in the rain on top of also sweating and it being really hot. It was a fun night though. I needed that. I'm at the point in my life where going out and staying out this late, I can't do it often, but like a few times a year, it is, it is fun once in a while, you know? But I'm gonna show you that I practice what I preach. I always get told that my skin looks good, I look young for my age, what's your skincare routine, what's your secret? And I always tell people, no matter how late it is, and no matter how drunk you may be, always do your skincare every night before bed and never sleep with your makeup on. Do your skincare routine when you get home and drink a lot of water before you go to bed. I also stopped drinking like hours ago and I just make sure to hydrate a bunch before I go to sleep. That way I'll wake up tomorrow feeling amazing. It's the next day. I'm alive. It's about 1.30 now. I don't even remember what time I woke up because I feel like I woke up and then went back to sleep multiple times. But I like finally actually got up out of bed around like 11 and chugged a bunch of water, took some Excedrin, had coffee, 
took a shower, and I just ate a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, which was so good. I feel like I needed that. I was gonna maybe hang out with some friends later, but I decided I'm not going to. I just kind of feel like my social battery is completely empty and i just don't really feel like going out and doing anything else like i really am looking forward to just staying home all day i'm like all caught up on work and everything like that so i can literally just lay in bed all day which is exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put my nivea cream on in a nice thick layer hydrate my skin and I'm just gonna continue drinking tons of water the rest of the day. I think I might actually have some liquid IV as well to help with the hydration. Putting this on in a really thick layer, like a mask, and then I just leave it to absorb into my skin. This is what I do literally every night before bed. I look so ridiculous like this. But I'm gonna have some liquid IV. This always makes me feel so much better. This is the guava flavor. It is so good. I like always keep a full stock of liquid IV. And anytime I'm going on a trip and I know I'm gonna be drinking or just like out in the sun a lot, I will always bring it with me. I'm pretty sure the discount code I have with them is still active. Um, I think it's for 20% off. I'll link it in the description if you guys want to use it. Gotta add ice. Oh, there's nothing better. But yeah, I'm just gonna go lay in bed for the majority of the day probably. And it's kind of the perfect day to do it because it's really windy outside and it like keeps raining on and off. So I feel like it's a nice day to just kind of like cozy up in bed. But I'll check in with you a little bit later. It is now 10 p.m. You can't even see that. There you go. And I had the best day. I literally was in bed all day long, sleeping on and off, watching yellow jackets, but it was just so relaxing and nice to just rest. You know, I like to try and give myself one day a week where I just have off and I don't have anything that I need to do and I can just stay home and not leave the apartment just to like reset recharge the social battery all of that but I usually end up being somewhat productive even on those days like I'll do some laundry I'll clean I'll meal prep I'll work out today I literally didn't do any of that all of the meals I ate I got delivered and I had some yogurt but like I didn't have to actually cook anything it was lovely and i don't even feel guilty about it because i couldn't tell you the last time i had a day like this it was probably a year ago so yeah i am gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to anna louisa and i'll see you really soon in my next video bye